Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, my name's Dave, we're sat in Project C1. Please consider subscribing and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, today we're going to be replacing the speakers in the C1, plus a little bit of extra modification regarding sound and adding some rear speakers. So first of all, I'm going to be adding these bad boys. Uh, these are 4 inch or 10 centimeter speakers for the dashboard. Uh, secondly, I'm going to be adding these bad boys. These are six and a quarter inch or 17 centimeters. Wrong, sorry. Six and three quarter inch or 17 centimeter speakers. And they're going in the rear door cards. Uh, well, I say door cards, it's a three door, but you get the idea. Um, so we're gonna be cutting some holes and running some wires and that sort of thing. Um, and we'll probably end up doing some soldering and all that sort of fun stuff. So if you like it, stick around. Let's have a look, see how it goes. Right, so it's the same process for both passenger and driver side speakers. So what I'm going to do is going to use this trim removal tool. I'm just going to pop this uh, speaker cover, a little grill that uh, covers it. I'm just going to try and pop it up, bring it out. There we go. So we can see that the factory speaker has got two nuts. Uh, I'm going to go with 10 mil there. You can either screwdriver them or you can stick a socket on them. I'm going to grab a socket and we're going to undo that and pull the existing speaker out. So we've got a, a Teng 10 millimeter and we're going to use that to remove these two that are holding the speaker in. a little bit fiddly because it's so close to the dash and so close to the window but that happens okay so now that we've got those out we should just be able to pop this speaker out now there we go okay so we've got the speaker out so it's just a case of squeeze this tab just here and that should pull straight out However, I often have problems with these things. So I have a feeling I'm gonna break this, which doesn't really matter because we're gonna have to cut this anyway. So yeah, let's cut straight to that bit. So we've managed to get the speaker out. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a typical OEM cheap as possible speaker. Um, this little connector here, looks like it slides off that rail, but it's soldered onto that. I was thinking of trying to take that off so we can maintain the integrity of the factory wiring. However, that sounds like too much of a bollock. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just cut these off here and solder in the new bits of wire that come with the speakers. So these are the speakers I'm talking about now. There's some Pioneers, so we'll take that off because uh, what we need in that. Um, these are the bits of wire I was talking about. They've got two separate sizes of um, spade connector there. And they go onto those. The box is actually quite cool. If you are gonna cut anything out, I don't know whether you can see it on camera or not, but they do have like a, a perforated section. It's got all the drill holes and the exterior and the interior radius and things like that. But I've just had a quick test fit of these speakers. And we have a problem. Let me jump in the car and show you. Uh, as you can see, set up there ready to receive a speaker uh, apart from the wiring of course but uh, if we pop that in there you can see here I'll just adjust the camera for you. you can see here that one there is just sat in that gap it's not letting it actually rotate around so that the screw holes match up so what I'm gonna have to do is to get the speaker out of course I can get that in and that's gonna have to come off so that it will allow it to fit in that square gap in the top left corner there. Thank you. 
Okay, so um, we have a little bit of an extra issue. Uh, I took off that tang and I also took off this one as well because I was just getting in the way. Um, as you might be able to see here, um, the round edge just there is right in the middle of the hole on the dash. So what I'm going to do is a little bit more modification. I'm going to take just that little bit edge out and then that'll hold it in there like a spade connector then. Same on this side, as you can see the, um, if we push that just up there in the right position, uh, if that sits right, that one's nowhere near. So we'll modify both sides uh, and then that should do us, then that should work. There we go, both modified. So there we go, that's better. That's been modified. Just down here has been modified. Let's get on some wiring. Uh, I've got everything set up for it. Let's get on with it. So there we go, that's one speaker in. Uh, as we can see, it's it's fairly solid. Um, these two screws have done the job. Uh, let's turn it on and see what happens. Lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the time how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard but all these scars they cut so deep So, I'm quite happy that that works. So what I'm going to do now is grab hold of the uh, speaker cover and throw that back on. He says. Tell you what, it would help if you get it around the right way. It's far easier when you get it right. Right, now it's time to install the rear speakers. Now this is the kit that I've got. Um, this is the template that I was talking about with the front ones. Uh, the rear ones also came with the template in the box I've cut it out. Uh, as you can see, it's got the inner and outer radii and it's got the drill holes, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, I've got a couple of pens. I've got an actual pen and a red paint pen. 
this is the speaker itself. Uh, grill is detachable. Um, the idea is that uh, that pops out. And you can see just in there you've got some screw holes. Uh, so they go through on the actual speaker and then once they're on there, that'll get screwed onto the side there. Uh, I have got some um, ISO block connectors that go in the back of the radio. Uh, I only need four of these, but I seem to have been sent a lot. Um, the guy on eBay that I bought these from, uh, he very kindly apologised because he forgot to send them. So I think he sent me a ton. So thanks for that. Um, I have got the kit that the speaker comes with, same as the front ones. It's got its own little, um, little bit of wire. Uh, it's got a fitting kit, so it's got the um, metal clamps and the screws to go with. That'll help it clamp into the actual sideboard itself. Uh, and I've got about a mile of speaker cable. So I'm going to run some speaker cable from the front, all the way through, down underneath, up the back, and into that side. Same on the rear, on the passenger side. So let's get marking up and cutting. So as you've just seen then, um, I've drilled that hole. It's not exactly the smoothest hole I've ever done, but it's gonna get hidden behind this. So I don't really care. So what we're going to do now, just trial fit it with one hand, making sure that the drill holes line up. That's sort of a good thing. Yeah, that looks all right, that. So we'll run the cable so that the cable can poke out of here and up here and all that sort of good stuff so we can attach the speaker before we actually go ahead and screw it into the sidewall uh, and then we'll attach the speaker cable to the stereo. Right so for the thousandth time this month <laughs> uh, I have got the stereo out again. Now the idea is I'm going to take some speaker cable which I've already put some of those ISO connectors on the end of and um, we get to focus there you go um, and they are going in this block here. Um, I've had a look on the wiring diagram for the head unit and these two are rear right and these green two are rear left. Now the ones with the stripes, so we've got a purple and a purple and black, um, they are um, right, sorry, so they will be rear driver side. Uh, the purple and black is the negative and the green is the passenger side Green and black is the negative as well. So as we look at it here, the bottom ones are the negative and the top ones are the positive. So that should make it match the front speakers that we did just earlier on in the video. Uh, and then once we've got this cable routed, we're just gonna go sort of maybe down through there or maybe down underneath the driver's side. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But um, yeah, let's get that cable routed. And once we've done that, same as we did earlier on, We'll solder those on and we'll plug the speakers in and we'll play some copyright for your music and see what happens. So that's one cable in, um, it's a bit long, I'll pull it through so it'll come to the back. Um, we've got the pins in the back, and yes, they're not all that straight at the moment, I will straighten those out in a second, but I'm going to do the other side off camera, because you've already seen it once, uh, and then we'll go ahead and plug the speakers in and see what happens.
So, uh, as we can see now, I've gone a little bit rogue with the sanding wheel on the um, Dremel. Um, I have soldered the what is now the car harness together. So we've got the wire coming from the head unit. And these are the connectors that came from the actual speaker themselves. Uh, they've been soldered together with some heat shrink. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, and we're about to connect the speaker. Then. So we've got both rear speakers installed. That's the passenger side. That's the driver's side. Uh, like I said, I only showed you one because it's pointless showing you both of them because it's just the same procedure on either side. The dash speakers are in. We have some copyright free music. Let's play. <laughs> I really don't know what this music is, but hey, whatever. So we can see, I mean, we tested those earlier, they work. We'll have a listen here. That works. And if we go around the other side, that is working really nicely. So that one took a little bit longer than I thought it would do, uh, but that was more due to the weather rather than like inability or any technical snags that we came up to. It was all fairly standard. It just started raining and I had uh, a mains extension lead out to the car and I thought, nah, we're not, we're not playing this game, I'll get electrocuted. Um, but having had a listen to it, I really quite like it and I really like the way it looks as well. Uh, if you like the way it looks, uh, and you like the way that this playlist looks so far, then remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, any comments are welcome. I'll try to respond to all them all. Um, and the more likes and comments and things like that, the better the video and indeed the channel does on the YouTube algorithm. So anything and anything really, go for it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. The rest of the playlist is just here. Uh, Instagram is going to be down here somewhere, so you can follow me during the weeks in between videos so you can see what sneak peeks and things like that that I'm up to. And if you did like it, remember to ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.